Are you ready to take charge of your finances and achieve your financial goal? In this video, I'll share everything that you need to know about budgeting and help you transform the way you manage money. Get ready to learn the 50-30-20 budgeting rule. It is a very simple yet effective way to manage your finances. Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, welcome, welcome. If you're returning, welcome back. On this channel, I share information on finance, entrepreneurship, and lifestyle. So please consider subscribing below and turn the post notification bell on so you can get notified each time I post a new video. Today's topic is all about taking control of your finances and you'll be learning how to do so with budgeting. I'm excited to share some practical tips that work wonders and will help you take charge of your financial journey. If you have a budget template already, feel free to use that. If you don't, I have a link in the description box that will take you to a page where you can easily save or download a copy of my free budget template. I will be showing you how I use that budget template later on in this video. First things first, let's understand why budgeting is very important. Just like a business would have its business plan or its vision or its goals, the same way for your finances, you need to have your financial goal. And with a budget, you can keep track of your income, your expenses, your savings or your debt repayment as well. The first thing to do with any budget template that you have is to identify all of your income. Identify your employment income, your earned income, maybe income from your side hustle or other sources. Have you ever heard of the 50-30-20 budgeting rule? If you haven't, this is the best time for you to learn about it. The 50-30-20 budgeting rule allows you to allocate 50% of your income into your needs. These are fixed regular expenses that you have to incur in order for you to survive. Things like your rent, your feeding, your transportation, and your clothing would fall under your daily necessities of life. Then next, you allocate 30% of your monthly income into your wants. Your wants would include things like traveling, eating out, dining with friends, gifts, and all of that things. These are expenses that are variable in nature. They are not fixed and you can make amendments where necessary. And lastly, the remaining 20% of your income would be allocated towards your savings goal. Your savings could include things like building your emergency fund, repaying back your debts, investing, or any other thing that would allow you to save towards your future. Now let's talk about how to create a budget that would work for you. I always recommend for people to first of all outline their income. This is very important for you to know just so that you are not overspending. If you are allocating your expenses first, chances are that you might allocate more expenses than the income that you are expecting. So I recommend that you start off with the income that you are sure or that you can project that you would earn for that month. Then make sure to break it down into income from all sources like maybe your main job, your side hustle, if you do content creation, if you have other gigs that you do, identify all of the income that you could earn. It could also be like estimated incomes as well. Identify that in your budget. Then next, you want to identify your fixed expenses. These include things like your rent, your groceries, your transportation, feeding, all of these things that would help you lead a daily life. You need to identify those as your fixed expenses. Then next, you need to identify your variable expenses. With your variable expenses, here you can always make amendments and you can decide if you want to save more if you want to spend more this is a very flexible part of your budget and i really really encourage people that are working towards a better saving goal to take advantage of this part of their budget now even though the 50 30 20 rule states that you should allocate 30 percent of your income towards your wants if you so prefer to prioritize saving you can switch things around and focus 30 percent of your income towards saving and 20 percent of your income towards other expenses. Like I said earlier, I've designed a budget template that is suitable for everyone. You can grab a copy with the link in the description box. This template is super easy to use. I recommend you have it on any of your digital devices or you can also print it out for easy use. Personally, I have a copy of it that I like to use 
and I just use my pen and paper to take note on it. This way I can visually see what's going on with my finances and make amends where necessary. But if you don't want to pr print it out, you can also use it on any of your digital devices and take control of your finances from there. Now with this budget, you can see that it's broken down into different categories. We have the income section, we have bills, we have expenses, we have debt and we also have saving goal. Let me show you how to use this budget. First of all, identify your income like I mentioned earlier. Let's assume my total monthly income for the month is 2,700. So here I've entered all of the sources of income that I'm expecting for the coming month and I have a total of $2,700. Now, following the budgeting rule we have just discussed, I am allowed to allocate 50% of my income towards my needs. So that would mean I can spend $1,350. So I have allocated $1,100 towards my monthly bill, which is my fixed expenses, and I've also allocated $250 to my groceries, which is eaten. Now, if you decide to be debt-free by a certain period, you can decide to prioritize paying your debt down as quickly as possible. So for the sake of that, I have also allocated 30% of my income towards my saving. Now with this saving, I also split it into two to have 400 going towards my debt repayment and 400 going towards savings. Now that I have that done, I have just 20% left and this is $540. With $540, I can now allocate this towards other variable expenses like gifts, shopping, eating out, visiting friends, buying clothes and all of these things. At the end of all of these calculations, I'm left with $10. If you have this budget tracker, you, it would help you see at first glance where your money is going towards. As you can see on this budget that we have reviewed together, more is going towards your daily necessities and we are trying as much as we can to also save more which is allocating 30% and the rest is going towards other things that are not as important. As you plan your budget and as you live your daily life, you can decide to prioritize any aspect of your budget to meet your financial goal. I recommend you decide what works best for you and you don't follow anybody's guide but try as much as you can to stay somewhere within the 50-30-20 rule because this would help you make sure that your money is going to what's the important things. You don't want to end up overspending when you're not earning enough. And if you feel like you need to spend more or you have more expenses, you can now start to work towards earning more money so that you can have the room to spend even more. I've used these numbers in this budget template for simplicity's sake. I hope it really helps you grasp what I'm trying to explain. Another great tip is for you to automate your savings. If you can, automate your debt repayment if you want to put in $100 monthly to towards paying down your credit card or your student loan or something, automate that. You can also automate your investing as well as your savings. That way, once your paycheck hits your bank account, you don't have to start manually putting in all these funds into the right spot because it will go there automatically. And once you log into your bank, you just see the balance. That way you are not overspending, you are only going to be spending what you have. Now that you have learned about the 50, 30, 20 rule, I hope it helps you make a better decision with your finances. Leave a comment below. Let me hear from you. Do you intend to put more towards your savings goal or do you have more expenses that would require for you to put more funds in? You can easily get a copy of this budget template with the link that I have in the description box. Don't forget to share with your friends and family or anyone that you feel like would also find the template useful. If you enjoy watching this video, please give it a thumbs up. It really does help my channel grow. Leave a comment below. Subscribe to the channel if you are yet to do so and I'll see you in my next video. Bye for now.